Hi, fifth grade. Here's your second video for week number 25. We're going to be doing module eight, lesson two. Um, represent multiplication of whole numbers by fractions. So you're going to be finding the product of a whole number and a fraction using a visual model. So previously we had a number in the group and then we found like two thirds of that number. This time we're going to have the whole. We're going to have holes. It's not going to be broken up into pieces. We have to break it up into pieces and then find um, the fraction. So Earl bakes three loaves of bread. He keeps one fourth of the bread for himself and gives the rest to his neighbors. How many loaves of bread does Earl give to his neighbors? So we know there are three loaves of bread. And he's obviously cutting them into fourths. Well, he's not cutting them, but we, we, to give ourselves a better representation, we're going to cut them into fourths. So we know that he's going to keep one fourth of the bread for himself. So that means each loaf of bread he's going to give three fourths away of each loaf of bread. So if I count all of these up, I see that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fourths of bread that he gives away. Now we're not going to keep this as an improper fraction, so we need to figure out how many holes we can get out of this. So we have a four fourths, a four fourths, and a one fourth. When we add all those together, those equal nine fourths, right? Four fourths plus four fourths plus one fourth equals nine fourths. So we have two holes and a one fourth. So nine fourths is the same as two and one fourth. So he gives away two and one fourth loaves of bread because he's only keeping a fourth of the bread. So basically he's keeping three fourths of the bread and the rest he's giving away. Okay. So one way we could show this is we know that he bakes three loaves of bread and he's keeping um, one fourth of the bread. So three, three fourths of, or one fourth, sorry, of the three loaves of bread he's going to keep. So this is how much he's going to keep. He's keeping three fourths of three. So then you would multiply three times three, right? And then you would have nine fourths and then two and one fourth, but we'll get to that after. But I just wanted to <laughs> wanted to say get that out there. All right, Mrs. Fan, she's baking some cakes. She bakes two cakes, each in the shape of a hexagon. Ooh, she takes three fourths of the cakes to a party. How, determine how much she takes to the party using pattern blocks. Well, we're not going to use pattern blocks, but a hexagon has how many sides? A hexagon has six sides. And she makes two of them. So she's got two hexagon shapes. She makes two of them and she takes three fourths to a party. So if we were to break each of these up in half, because we know that now we have our fourths, and she takes three fourths to the party, how much did she take to the party? She took one whole cake and a half. So we didn't use pattern blocks, we just drew it. So she took one and one half cakes to the party. So to multiply, we would say 
three fourths times two, which equals six fourths. And six fourths is the same as one and two fourths, which is the same as one and one half. Okay? So we're going to be multiplying our whole number by our fraction. All right. Rashad bakes four equal size granola bars. Um, he serves two thirds of the bars to his friends. Draw a visual model to show you how you can find how many granola bars he serves. So he has four granola bars, and he serves two thirds of the bars to his friends. Right? So we've got our thirds. He serves two thirds, so I'm going to shade in two of each of those. So we could find that he served one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thirds, which is the same as two holes and two thirds. And we can find this when we multiply by saying two thirds times four. Two thirds times four that means we're going to be multiplying our whole number. If we have a whole number, it really is like this. 2 thirds times 4 over 1. So then I multiply my top numbers, which is 8, and I multiply my bottom numbers, which is 3. And 8 thirds is the same as 2 and 2 thirds. You run all of ours. Okay, so when we're multiplying, you're going to be taking your whole number and the fraction. You're going to multiply, so our fraction is two thirds, and we're going to multiply our four over one is the same as four wholes. So that's like four over one equals four. Two times four is eight, three times one is three. And that's how I get my answer. Okay. Isa has two boxes of pizza. Each box has five eighths of a pizza left. Jack says that this story context can be modeled with the equation five eighths times two equals one and one fourth. So if we're doing, we're not doing five eighths of a group of pizza. We're, that we're finding two groups of five eighths, right? So that means they eat one and one fourth pizzas in all. So he, his story, he said it can be modeled with five eighths times two, which equals one and one fourth, but it does two groups of five eighths. Oh, the story is wrong. So this, okay, you know what? We're not worrying about that one. We're skipping it. We're moving right along. Let's just learn how to multiply. <laughs> Al bakes four round cakes that are decorated like baseballs for a team party. The party guests eat seven eighths of the cakes. How many cakes do they eat in all? So we have four times seven eighths, right? Or seven eighths times four. So we're going to rename this to 4 over 1 times 7 over 8. 4 times 7 equals 28 over 8. 28 over 8 is the same as 
we pull out eighths, right? Eight eighths. This would be 16 eighths, 24 eighths, and then we would have four eighths left. So we go three and four eighths, or three and one half. A carpenter has 10 equal sized pieces of woods, wood. She uses 3 fifths of the wood to make a box. So we have 3 fifths times 10, which is the same as 3 fifths times 10 over 1. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5. So if I pull out all my 5 fifths, 1, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That means she uses six pieces of wood. Right? Because you have one, two, three, four, five, six whole numbers pulled out of our three. Thirty fifths. <clears throat> Megan makes four giant oatmeal cookies and cuts them into equal sized pieces. She puts 11 twelfths of the cookies onto a, into a cookie jar. And a visual model for, or sorry, we're not going to do a visual model. We're just going to multiply. So we've got four giant cookies. 11 twelfths get put into the jar. Remember, our whole number can go will be going over one. So we'd have 44 twelfths. So 12 twelfths. There's 24 twelfths. 36 twelfths. 9, 40, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, then 8 twelfths. So 1, 2, 3 holes and 8 twelfths which is the same as three holes and two thirds if we're reducing our fraction. Finding a same fraction. Okay, three eighths times four. So we could rename this as three eighths times four over one, which is 12 eighths. And 12 eighths is the same as, we can take one whole eight out of there. And then you'd have one and four eighths, which is the same as one and one half. I will accept one and one, four eighths, but if you put one and one half, then that's even better. Number five. Two eighths, sorry. Times three over one equals six ninths. So that's our answer. We could also reduce it or simplify it. If I divide the top and the bottom by three, I would get two thirds. So six ninths or two thirds, one four eighths or one and one half. Alrighty, we're not gonna explain. We're not going to write a story. All right, we are going to do seven sixteenths, seven eighth of sixty. Uh, bleh. 7 eighths of 60. So we're going to, we're not using the number line. 7 eighths times 16 over 1. So 16 times 7. 4, 7, 11, 112 over 8. So we need to figure out how many eighths are in 112. So we could divide that, 112 divided by 8, so there are 14, 14 times 8 equals 112. Okay. So 5, 6 times 3 over 1. 15, 6. So it's the same as 2 and 3, 6. Or 2 and 1 half. Or 
fifteen six. <laughs> Next one. Seven eighths times four over one equals twenty eight eighths, which is the same as three and four eighths or three and one half. Write an equation that's represented by the visual model. So we have three of these, right? And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ninths times three. Because we have eight of the ninths shaded times three. And to solve it, eight times three is 24 over nine which is the same as two and six ninths, or two and two thirds. Alrighty, so we're not gonna do these. We're just gonna answer the question. So we have 13 sixteenths times 8 over 1, so 104 sixteenths, which is the same as, if, how many 16 sixteenths can we take out of here? You can take 6 and 4 sixteenths, which is the same as 6 and 1 fourth. Alrighty, so please complete the independent work that goes with these. If you want to draw the pictures, go right ahead. If you just want to do the multiplication, you can just do the multiplication and division and figure it out. And when you are finished, turn it in to me at school. Alright, have a great day. Bye.